The ice castle jumping puzzle is still there. Ice tower jumping puzzle that, that was built for the Christmas season. Not last year, but I think the year before, actually. And I was building a couple things here as well. Um, let's see if I can show those to you. Avoid getting eaten by a zombie. Oh, I didn't show you the nether hub. One thing I did was I, ex I expanded the north tunnel myself. I think the uh, moderators, when they build something like that, they go into creative mode and just spend the time to do it. But I didn't. I, I don't have creative mode, so I had to mine up all the stone and grow the trees, harvest them. One thing you'll notice is I removed the ladder that was right there. So I figured I wanted this uh, skylift station to be the way that you get up there. I go over to the TARDIS. Somebody built a tower next to me. This is new. Check that out. What's this? This is a mine, I suppose. Look for a sign to see who made it. So you're supposed to put a sign. Angry Dill. Okay, well that's fine. But let's go back to the TARDIS. Oh, somebody built a little uh, portal here too. That's probably linked to mine. Because it's so close. I'll show you what, show you what I didn't hear. I kept some of the sheep. I think this used to be open. Actually, I don't remember what stage this was in the last time I showed you my current progress on the TARDIS. I know this uh, this upper room wasn't here. Let me show you that. I filled this in with half slabs. Made sort of like a starry sky pattern here with glowstone. Move my chests up here. I don't know 
know if I showed you this, but uh, I put a timer on the light so that it blinks. So it just blinks off and on like that, repeatedly. some food. I think I have some let's see, tools, wool, miscellaneous. Do I have any food here? Take some potatoes. Yeah, I took down the ladder because it was kind of ugly. It was just a cobblestone pole that went up to the Sky Islands with a um, you know, the ladder on one side. So I have the sky lift where you can take the uh, you can take a minecart up there. But I did something else. Oh, I changed the, the little box around the nether portal, too. Let me show you that. Yeah, while well, I'm doing this, briefly, uh, I said it was partly computer-related, my absence from YouTube. here. Okay. So basically, my computer, as, as you may know, is a System76 computer built for Ubuntu Linux. And I also have a copy of Windows 7. And I was doing dual boot for a while. And about the time I started to record videos for this channel, I decided to try making it a single boot. Just because it was annoying me to constantly having to shut down and reboot into something else. Just send that down. I think I have some up here. Yep. These are the Sky Islands, if you forget what they look like. And I rebuilt this thing around the, the portal to make it look a little better. Got little windows here. And the stone brick. I kind of like the way it looks now. And it's lit up from the inside with that glowstone. Yeah, so anyway, I... I was on Windows only for a while. Then I went back to Linux only, and now I'm currently back on dual boot. Because it is so much easier to record these videos in Windows. I wish I could do it in Linux. Because honestly, that's basically one of the only things. The only things I really use Windows for these days are recording with fraps and watching. TV shows on Hulu because Hulu requires a flash player and I don't have flash installed in my Linux installation. Okay, as you can see, this is the other way to get up and down. It is a water elevator. I'll go all the way down. I made it using blue glass so it would be a little bit harder to see against the sky and the ocean. I kind of like it. It's a very peaceful, serene way of traveling up to the Sky Islands. It goes down to a little patch of 
sand down there with nothing around it, which is not that exciting. So I'm going to go back up. You push space to rise, and you don't drown because there are alternate uh, signs with, with air pockets. This goes up to that sort of glass station. There's my mob farm, which still works very well. And instead of going out, I decided to go all the way up. And this is kind of an aborted project. Decided to build a platform of dirt at the top of the world. The absolute top of the building limit. And I did. I tried planting things there. Top of the world. I tried putting a bed here and sleeping on it, but it wouldn't let me, so I lowered it by one level. Now this does work. You can sleep there at night. I tried growing trees up here. Trees will not grow. Actually, let me just prove to you that this is the top. Let's get some dirt. So you can't... What? I can now? Now that I'm in 1.8 or 9? Okay. The top went up by one block. Since this moved from 1.7 to 1.8. Now you can put something here, but I can't put anything up here. All right, anyway. <laughs> Trees will not grow up here, but grass and flowers will. I tried putting a tree down one block and loading it full of bone meal on a sunny day, and it would not grow. So Trees will not grow up here. I'm so high up, you can't really see anything except for the, the Sky Islands. So I plan to build a lot of stuff up there, but uh, you can't really build above or grow anything above that limit. So I kind of stopped and then went on to other things. I think after I finished that is when I started to walk east through the green tunnel in, in the nether. Speaking of the nether, let's go back there. This is kind of cool. These are blue glass, or light blue, I think, glass blocks, and these are glass panes in uh, sort of a rectangular tube pattern. It's very, very simple and elegant. I like it. Let's see how the mob farm is doing. Yep, plenty of stuff. Let's grab some arrows. Did I put my bow in the ender chest? I think I did. I had a power three bow, didn't I? I can probably make another one, but let me check that out. monsters. <laughs> it's not lit up very well, is it?
Anyway, let's go to the nether.